This is Echo 3, and let's discuss a new trick with the fuel drain valve. This is not the one that involves draining air from the intakes. This is a new hack for unlimited fuel. Let's start by assembling a craft. In this video, I'll be making a plane, but the exact type of craft is not important. For simplicity, we can use the RTGs to generate electricity. This is not a crucial step in the overall design, but in general, it is a good idea to make sure your craft has enough power. The shock cone will be needed because I'm making a plane with air breathing engines. The drain valve though is essential for the rest of this design. We will only need the one for this to work. You could make a variation of this craft that uses more than one, but for the sake of this demonstration, we will only need the one. Make sure to place it on the fuel tank. And I'm going to use the rapier engine. Any engine will work as long as it uses liquid fuel. Now we can quickly throw together the rest of this plane. And we can speed this footage up for now. I do have other tutorials on making plane designs and I would recommend those. The rest of this hack requires a propeller and two Cal 1000 controllers. Yes, this does require the breaking ground DLC. I do have another video that shows a different way to use the Cal 1000 to achieve infinite fuel. You should definitely check that video out after you finish watching this one. Both of the Cal 1000s need to be bound to the main throttle. If you're watching the video carefully, you'll see that I accidentally set the wheel throttle as what they were bound to, and I will fix that shortly. The first cow has its play position bound to the throttle, and the second has its play speed bound to the throttle. Next, the drain valve drain rate and the propeller deployment angle are bound to the first Cal 1000, and the action to drain the drain valve is bound to the second Cal 1000. These are crucial steps and make sure you get those correct. Once that's done, we'll need to open the track editor. You can see that the propeller is set at its default deployment angle of negative 90. We need to copy that value of that row from the propeller blade and paste it over onto the drain valve. This means that the drain valve is now set to a flow at negative 90%. Well, that will mean then that every time the drain valve is activated, it will put fuel back into the tank. After this, open the second Cal 1000. Set the link to one second or less. Now click on the play timer and put lots of points to activate the drain. The more, the better. Without this set, the drain valve just works once. You can click on the drain valve and manually keep filling the tank, but this will just make everything a lot easier. So I'd recommend using this second Cal 1000 and having it play through in a shorter time, the better. Check the drain valve. By default, it's not set to drain any resources. Click the boxes to have the value set to drain the oxidizer and the liquid fuel. You may also want to set the drain valve to drain from the entire vessel and not just the tank it's attached to. Make sure the second cow is set to keep repeating its action. I am checking both of the cow 1000s to make sure that they're going to perform as expected. You can see that by hitting the play button there on the cow 1000, how this will affect the value on the drain valve. In this case, the first Cal 1000, it will always keep the drain rate at negative 90%, no matter where it is on the throttle. Now I'll bring up both tabs and you can see when I hit play on the Cal 1000, what it does to the drain valve. Watch as I hit play here. And the value on the drain valve is set to negative 90%. That's what's gonna give us our infinite fuel. Our Cal 1000s are set up. I need to just go fix the mistake I did and bind everything back to the main throttle and not to the wheel throttle. We'll get that mistake fixed up. And that really is everything as far as setting up the Cal 1000s goes. We have really one more step left to do once we do this here. And we'll just need to remove the propeller blade. We don't need it anymore, so we'll take it off of the plane 
and that will give us a chance then to test out this design. So we'll go up and deploy to the runway and see how this thing operates, see if it operates as expected anyway. We will pull up the resource tab and you can see how well it's working. Looks like everything is working great. And as a matter of fact, it's got so much thrust that even with the brakes on, it was able to take off. We will gain a little bit of altitude and switch over to closed cycle mode. It appears that we have set up everything properly. This is my channel. Um, this week, my channel turns one year old. Thank you all for liking my videos and subscribing. You have been so kind to this new YouTuber. This is Echo3, and thanks for joining me to discuss this drain valve trick. I will see you next time.